There's nothing better than homemade tortilla chips, and you're not gonna believe how easy they are to make. With just a few ingredients, you can have these crispy, crunchy tortilla chips ready to dip in no time. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly with Suburban Soapbox, and today we are making homemade tortilla chips. You are not gonna believe how easy these are to make. All you need are tortillas, salt, and oil. That's it. It's so simple to make, and in just a few minutes, you're gonna have warm, crunchy tortilla chips. So to start, let's just talk about the tortillas just a little bit. If you have tortillas that you use for like tacos or fajitas or whatever, whatever you're using your tortillas for, and then you have some left over, those are really what you wanna use to make tortilla chips. A little stale is best because you want them to be semi-dehydrated. Those will get the crispest. If you have new tortillas, you're going to wanna to like spread them out on a baking sheet and kind of bake them in the oven a little bit. Similar to the way that you would make croutons where you just put them in a low temperature oven, like 325 degrees, even 300 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, it's going to get that moisture out of your tortilla. And that allows your tortillas to get really crispy in the oil. So to start, we're just going to open up the package and I'm gonna take out about half, maybe a little more than half. And we're gonna ditch a few of these that kind of look off. Wow, these got manhandled. <laughs> so you want full, like circles, the full tortilla intact. These are just gonna muck up your oil. You're gonna take your knife and we're gonna cut the tortillas into quarters. And then you have the shape of your tortilla chip. And we're gonna use the oil. So I like to use canola oil, peanut oil is really good as well. The only oil you don't wanna use is like a really expensive olive oil or avocado oil. If you're just using it to fry your chips, you really don't need like a super fancy oil. We're gonna add about two inches deep of oil into your pot and you can use like whatever size pot that you want. The bigger circumference that you have, the more chips are going to fit but also the more oil you're going to have to use. And you also wanna make sure that your oil doesn't get too hot. You don't need a thermometer, you can check by the color of your chip. So if your chip starts to become like a darker brown, like a darker golden brown, then your oil is definitely too hot. You wanna turn your heat down just a tiny bit. If you drop your chips in and they're just kinda of like floating there and not really doing a whole lot, then you need to turn your heat up. We're going to eyeball this all the way. Our oil's just about ready to go. I'm just going to use a little piece of tortilla to test it out. All right, looks good. And then also my last tip, salt. I like to use a fine salt. So popcorn salt is perfect for tortilla chips. And we're all going to lay out a paper towel and you're going to sprinkle that paper towel with some salt and that's going to salt both sides of your chip. You're gonna take your chips from the oil and put it directly on the paper towel and they're gonna soak up the salt on the underneath of that paper towel. And then you're going to sprinkle the top with the salt to salt the other side of your chips. So you're salted all the way around. So we just finished the last of our tortilla chips. I'm gonna salt the top. And I just, as I was cooking them, I transferred them to a platter so that I wasn't putting hot, oily chips on top of the ones on the bottom because all that oil drain off, it just makes your chips like kind of gunky and nasty. So to keep them crispy, I transferred them to a platter. Once you're all done, you can put them in a big bowl, serve with some guacamole or salsa or hummus, and you're ready to party. These are fantastic for nachos too. So I'm starving and I'm taking a bite. Mm. Super crunchy and nutty and crisp. These are the perfect tortilla chips. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. 
For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.